was maiden in the land, as sweet as she was fair. Who couldn't find a worthy husband, though she had looked everywhere? This filled her up with such sad grief, she was at her wit's end. So in the sad and sorry state she counseled with her friend. Her friend said, this now lass, you are too lovely for such pain. And if you suffer too long, lonely, someday will come too late. So I shall do my best as your best friend to find your mate. And so the friend set the fair maiden up with the blind day. With a blind day. Hey. And so the maiden wore perfume underneath her finest dress. And fantasized with all things love and deep on Jerez caress. But when she went unto the tavern at the appointed hour, she was received by a man in tattered black who handed her withered flowers they sat together at a table and shared each other's names and then the man in tattered black lit a candle with green flames she'd been wishing for a strong night for a rich man to romance her but that was when she realized her date was with a necromancer Smelled like human corpses, he was paler than a ghost. Green smoke lifted from his chalice as he lifted it for a toast. He said, Death is true beginning, and life is just death's dream. And all the while, his voice reverberated with otherworldly screams. He asked about her hobbies, she said she liked embroidery. He said he spent most of his time robbing cemeteries. She asked about his aspirations, what he thought he would do next. He said raising an army of skeletons with a spellbook bound in human flesh. Now certainly this maiden had been searching quite a while for a man to make her husband with whom she could truly smile. Though the fruitless search had made her desperate and neurotic, she would sooner die alone. Something so necrotic So she explained that she wasn't feeling any chemistry Stood up politely, said farewell, and then she took her leave The necromancer felt the same, for she was not his type He mostly dated gothic girls and creatures of the night Went back to her friend, and this is what she said. I'll never let you set me up on a blind date again.